good game. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Please don't. Please don't. Please. Please. No. Please don't. Please don't. Don't leave. Don't leave, my friend. Don't leave. Don't leave. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. Please. Please. Please don't leave. Bye, have a great time. What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Match Malone. Thank you all so very freaking much for tuning in. I hope you're having the most wonderful freaking day. I know I do because today I'm showing you a deck that has been brewing in my noggin since a long freaking time, and I'm very, very happy with it. Before we get into that, we are still on our way to 44,444, and yes, I look exactly the same as yesterday because I'm here from the past. And as I'm here from the past, I can tell you, the future looks grim. Wait, future and past are two different things? Maybe you're right. But who are you, person that doesn't exist? Who are you? So, yeah, um... That is all I have to say, so enough with the yammering. Let's get into the Skinner hammering. We're playing the Mind Skinner today, right here. Why wasn't it... Wait, what? Can I, can I please the card? There it is. Mind Skinner. It can't be blocked. It's a 10-1 for 3 blue mana. Yes. Yes. It can die to a freaking, uh, you know, virtue of persistence. Yes, that's true. But just protect it. Uh, if a source would deal damage to an opponent, you control. Prevent that damage. And each opponent mills that many cards. So that means when this dude gets through, you just straight up 10 cards milled. Just straight up 10 cards milled. Then you might say, okay, yeah, you know. You play against somebody with board wipes and then you just get your board wiped and then the creatures are gone. So what creatures are you even playing? Well... Pairing this with the other most evil blue card there is. Simulacrum Synthesizer. Oh, baby, this card. When it enters, you scry two, you know the card. But when an artifact with three or more enters the battlefield under your control, you make a Karn Struct. We call them Karn Structs because Karn was the first to make them. They have one one for each artifact you control. That means that our creatures are getting very, very big. Then you play the Mind Skinner, attack in with them, boom, mill them for a million. Having two or three Simulacrum Synthesizers out and all of the other artifacts that we have, everything in our deck, but one, two, three, four, five cards are artifacts. So the chance that your stuff will be very big, especially with like a Thrawn Spider making you even bigger power, uh, even more Power Stone tokens and stuff, is very, very high. So you will be able to freaking get in there with a lot of freaking damage. Usually, people will be like, okay, just play the synthesizer alone. No. You. You that just said it. No. Bad viewer. Bad viewer. <laughs> go, go to your little seat. We are playing the Mind Skinner. We want to live the mill dream. We, we want to do it. I want to hit somebody. Not deal him damage, but just mill him out in one attack. That is my dream. And my dream shall come true. I, I want that. I absolutely want that. So we will be getting there. So, how do we survive? Well, new card. Unidentified Hovership. You exile a creature with, uh, with toughness 5 or less. So you can exile Sheldreds, just, you know, up to outer space with them. You could also exile a Mind Skinner, because, you know, it has toughness 1. So yeah, just get him out of here. If this gets destroyed, they manifest one. This is also a nice blocker against like deep cavern bats. So very, very darn freaking good. Uh, then we have the braided net. During the first game that I played, I was up against Liliana and somebody said, why are you not tapping down the Liliana? And then I read the rest of the card. It doesn't only tap down creatures, it taps down non-land permanents and removes all abilities until they get untapped. So you can tap down everything with this but lands. That is a lesson I had to learn the hard way, and by the hard way, I mean somebody in chat making fun of me for not doing it. But then we did it, and we had a lot of fun. 
But the best ability this card has, outside from being super obnoxious, is the Braided Kweepu. Um, you can craft this with artifacts, so that means you sacrifice like the Power Stone, for example, one of the artifacts in the graveyard that we're never getting back, and then you turn it into Kweepu. Then you pay for draw a card for each artifact you control. That is a lot of cards. We already talked about this, that this goes out of hand real quick. Now imagine that everything doesn't give you plus one, but gives you a card. Now we're in the territory of drawing four to five cards for four mana, which is insane. And then this gets put third from the top in your library. So first you draw, then it gets put there. But you know, we're, we're still fine with that. Or it wipes, we have Sunfall, we have the Unstoppable Glyph Bridge. Sunfall is still needed, you know? Um, even if you have the board full of constructs, we're getting constructs back, uh, but we get a little incubator token out of it, so that is very darn nice. And yes, this is disgusting. Uh, Unstable Glyph Bridge, we will never craft this with Artifact. You can, but usually it's not worth it. But it destroys everything but one creature with power two or less everybody controls. Because the bridge might be unstable, but uh, one person will still survive. If they don't have small stuff, they don't get anything. You're too big? Well, you're too big to not fail. That, is that how they say it? I don't know. Temporary lockdown, just survive the early game. Search engine. Works very well with the Mind Skinner. Because it's unblockable, so, you know, you just slam in there. You turn this into a 5-4, now that is 5 cards milled. Pretty darn good, I like it. Three steps ahead to prevent them from reanimating the stuff you milled, otherwise we just, you know, destroy it straight up. Uh, Elspeth Smite for the early game is just needed. Thrawn Spider. Assimilation Ages, I think this is the first time I'm playing this. Uh, you just exile up to one target creature until it leaves the battlefield, and you can equip this to turn someone into that creature. So if you exile, um, you know, for example, I don't know, a Sheldred, turn into a Sheldred, draw a million cards, get two million life, Easy peasy lemon freaking squeezy. Restless Anchorage also makes you map tokens, which are artifacts, so that will grow the, um, the Simulacrum Synthesizers and your Kweepu. So very, very darn freaking nice. The deck is super fun. And the deck is, of course, a very good Simulacrum Synthesizer with a twist of lemon. So I, I didn't enjoy that very freaking much. Uh, the fear in people's eyes once you put this on the battlefield is virtual because we cannot see them but it is there trust me it is there because everybody is scared of skinner so yeah thank you also very freaking much this is as i already just said skinner i'm magis malone and i will see you in those mind skinning games We're finally playing the Skinner deck. <laughs> Little mind, oh my lord, Krimus! Yes, Krimus! The hand is pretty good, I like it. Alright, so we're ready for um, Mono Red here. They're not even playing Mono Red, okay. Venerated Rod Priest. Boo on you, game. Boo on you. Venerated Rod Priest. For real here. Well, that was not the smartest thing ever. But that is just like my humblest of all opinions. Yes. Thank you, I guess. All right. We're doing pretty well for ourselves here. They think they're doing stuff, but they aren't. They aren't doing anything here. You get out of here. Why is there so much poison in here right now? Those are all cards that don't match with my deck. So I don't think so. So, I don't need another land. I'm playing the Braided Net here. I don't think they have anything. I honestly don't think that they have anything. There you go. There you go. Alright. Yo, Narashu! Thank you for the follow. 
Another land? I just said I don't want another land. There, you just straight up give me one? Okay. Alright. Well, I don't want that. Really, really don't want that. Okay. I mean, we're doing pretty well here, you know? Not gonna lie. We're doing pretty, pretty well here. We now just need to try not to find more land. This is pretty darn good, not gonna lie. Another braided net is absolutely amazing. Passing the turn here. Tapping you. What is this now? Okay. Go ahead. Deal me the first poison damage in the whole game. That is absolutely alright with me. Oh, you have two of those. Okay, alright. Well, that sucks for us, but hey. But hey. What you gonna do about it? Um, until it leaves the battlefield. Is there an artifact in here? Yes. I need to see the backside again. Does it enter, though? Does it enter? It does, right? Yeah! Alright! Well, passing that turn, then! Jesus, man, Jesus. <laughs> All right, they're not even attacking in here. So I'm playing this, drawing a card for each artifact that I control. That is <laughs> kind of excessive game. Kind of excessive, I'm just saying. Kind of freaking excessive here. <laughs> that was kind of excessive. Okay, I'm getting rid of uh, the Thrawn Spider. And the temporary lockdown. And the island. Let's get rid of the island here. That was, um, uh, kind of excessive. <laughs> oh, my lord. So all we need now is the Mind Skinner, right? So let's activate this now. Get ourselves another blue source, because why not? Tapping down these and activating here. All right. Another braided net. Would prefer the mind skinner, to be honest. But hey, you can't always get what you want, am I right? Boom. Didn't even need the mind skinner. I mean, I would have loved to mill them for a million, but a mind skinner would have been pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. Not gonna lie. We're up against Sunnit. Opponent's going first. We do have the mind skinner. We do have it. So we're keeping this hand no matter what. And with this, maybe we find another white source. I guess they're a um, control enjoyer, or they're just lying. They're just using skins to lie, which there is a chance, you know. There is a chance that they're just liar, liar, pants on fire, but we will see. <clears throat> they're mono red, just you watch. Just you watch. Nope, they're mono black. Okay. All right. Yes, I want that. Thank you very much. Yo, big bad wolf, how you doing, my friend?
I'm confused about this. Well, thank you. That is kind of very kind of you. Kind of very, very kind of you. Let's bring in you. We chill a little bit here. Just ever so slightly. See what they're doing. They have another Assassin's Trophy coming down. Okay. Well, I'ma steal that. But I have another answer. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, it's Tiny Bones. Okay. It's just Tiny Bones. Literally not an answer. So I kind of want to take care of this. Then pass the turn. My day is going pretty well right now. We're doing super fun stuff and I love it. Alright. It's not as if I weren't prepared for that, you know? It's absolutely not as if I weren't prepared for that. So thank you, I guess. It's time for the Mind Skinner. It just is. It is just time for the Mind Skinner. It has to be time for the Mind Skinner. It just freaking has to be time for the Mind Skinner. You loser. You absolute loser. You could have had let me one attack with it, you know? Just freaking one. Here's the braided net. You loser. I hate you. I hate you so much right now. Liliana. to regret it are you making me discard or are you making me lose a creature what a loser man oh, sacrifices must be made okay so we need an answer to Liliana ASAP but we will be getting there I'm so mad right now that we lost our mind skinner I'm getting rid of the temporary lockdown here. Now craft with artifact. Getting rid of the search engine. Then let's draw some cards, shall we? Still getting rid of this. Getting rid of this also now. Man, Liliana is kind of annoying here, not gonna lie. Liliana is kind of annoying here. Losing our Mind Skinner made me very sad. Very, very sad. Don't How are we not able to find a creature? We'll just do this straight up. How are we unable to find one creature? This taps. So, I could... Wait. Oh my god, I did not know that. Oh my god, I did not know that. I never saw that part of the card. Never. Like, literally never saw that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, you learned something new every day, I guess. 
You learn something freaking new every single day, I guess. That is, um... Pretty busted. Yes, you learn something new every single day, I guess. Well, I will be damned. I will be damned. So we just had the most busted draw in the existence of draws. That is just what is up here. Like, look at this. <laughs> look at it. Just freaking look at it. What the heck even is this? <gasps> There's the Mind Skinner again. Okay, all right. So some Alacrum Synthesizer. Into Simulacrum Synthesizer. Into Search Engine. Attacking that Liliana. Yo, Nate at Twitch, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. All right, ending the turn. <laughs> Tapping down your Liliana. Do they even have enough? They do. They do have enough. That is all right. They have these two? Yeah. I don't think they will be attacking in here. So, let's do even more shenanigans here, shall we? I think we shall. I think we shall. Getting rid of you here. So next turn I am playing the Mind Skinner. Just to show them who's boss. Come on! Nah, man! Why did you not let me play the Mind Skinner? Oh, no! We were so close of doing it! So close! I'm so happy that chat is teaching me stuff about cards that I've been using since a year now. Krimus! Yes, Krimus! I like the hand. It will help us survive for the longest time. Yes, I want it. Thank you. Bring it in you. Alright, we're just keeping up our counter spell here. Still keeping up our counter spell here. I think that that is all right. I want more land, so I'm not doing anything here. Well, would have liked more land, not gonna lie. One more land would be very nice here. What are they doing? Oh, come on, game. Come on, game. Really? I have missed two land drops already. That's no bueno. That is no bueno whatsoever. What? Okay. All right, you do that, my friend. That was always allowed. Why are people playing this all of a sudden? Anointed beekeeper. I have so many things that just don't care about your anointed beekeeper. You made it to Diamond 1, then Mono Red broke your win streak? Welcome! Welcome to Magic the Gathering Arena. <laughs> Sunfall. Really? Oops. Okay. There's another land, finally. What are you going to do against my unidentified hover ship? 
I love that we have like a freaking UFO in magic now with abs on the window. Look at these abs. Look at these abs on the window. <laughs> kind of stupid, I know. I still want more lands. So I'm not cracking this passage. Not at all even. What does this do? It turns into an enchantment. All right, there is the Mind Skinner now. Just playing the net, though. I'm just playing the net. I'm not playing the Mind Skinner while, you know, Massacre Girl is out. <laughs> it wouldn't be the smartest decision of my life. Just would not be the smartest decision of my life. So, now that we have no more things to worry about. We also still have the three steps ahead, so I can also make a copy of this, you know? I wonder what our opponent is doing! I think they're mad. But that is just, like, my feeling here. I think I'm just doing this. So that I'm at least doing something, you know? And then the braided net will draw us a million cards. Braided net is insanely busted, in my opinion. It costs you a lot, but in the right deck, it just draws you oh so many cards. By the way, we're on five lands in the first 15. That is... that is pretty good for us. Urza Silex. That kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. I need an answer for that ASAP. Pretty ASAP. I mean, I do have this for now, you know? And I can make a copy of it. So that's kind of alright. I have to. No, wait, let me see what they're doing. And then I just copy it. Alright. Get our lot of blue source here. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. That's crazy good. That was. Kind of unexpected, to say the very least. Kind of very, very unexpected, to say the very least. Wow, okay. This sucks. How many lands? Six lands. This is just good. We can rebuild. They can't. Yo, certified, how you doing? We can rebuild. They can't. The Avon Interrupter was kind of unexpected here. Not gonna lie. Actually, not gonna lie. What are they getting themselves? They're losing lands, though, right? One, two, three. Yeah. They are losing lands. I do have another Sunfall that they don't know about. So that's alright. That is actually alright. I wonder where our lands are. One, two, three, four. They might have another Avon Interrupter coming down. They do have another Avon Interrupter. They do have another Avon Interrupter. That is crazy. Yo, Tsuksu, thank you. I appreciate it. Very much appreciate it. Sheldred. There is the land, finally. All right, bringing down you.
We know that they have the Avon Interrupter. Let's just pass the turn then. We don't want to get milled. Kind of understand that. We should be getting in our game plan soon, though. That would be pretty good if we could. Maybe they don't have another Raven Interrupter, and it was just to shoot the Sheriff the whole time holding priority here. There is a chance. Best treasure ever. <laughs> Best treasure ever. All right. Activate you here. Equip here. Turn into Sheldred. Just a good old 6-7 Sheldred. Okay, all right. Ending the turn. If they destroy this, that is still kind of fine with me, because I keep the Assimilation Ages. So that is alright. Alrighty. This is kind of pretty good. Let's not temporary lock down anything here. Ending the turn. Tapping you down. They need another Urza Silex. This truly is meta crushing madness. It is, right? It is. What are you doing here, bro? Sheldred's Edict. Okay. All right. Absolutely fine with me. Sarah Paragon. That is pretty good. Putting a stop here again. Okay, all right. Man, we're doing them dirty here. We're doing them absolutely dirty here. And I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, come on, really? Freaking really straight away another one. Straight away another one. Nah, man, that is scuffed. That is kind of scuffed. Okay. All right, well, let's make a copy of this here. Put the stops here and keep you from doing it for the longest freaking time. That's at least something, you know. Jesus, man. I am attacking here. Alright. Tapping you down. Tapping you down. Kind of unbelievable in my opinion. They didn't draw an extra single card, but they're just drawing everything they need. Can we please get everything we need? Urza Silex! This is the game of the ages, my friends. The game of the ages. Urza's freaking Silex. That is the second one they're drawing. Just like that. Okay. Wait, it stays tapped? That's whack. Yo, come on, game. Come on, game. Relax. Freaking relax, y'all. So I don't think that they want to use Urza Silex anymore. But there is also nothing in here that they could wish for. Let's just draw all the cards. Yes. Let's just draw all the cards. Another braided net. That's okay. 
That is absolutely all right. Getting rid of you then. I'm very much in awe about how well they're playing here without having to do anything. Okay, all right. What do you think is the last card they just drew? Three steps ahead is super nice here. So here's the synthesizer. Yes, I want all of this. Here is another braided net. Here is this. Attacking you here. Okay, nice. Thanks, my friend. Thank you very much. Ending the turn. Activating you here. How much does this give? Three, two counters. Also activating you here. Okay. All right. What a game of the ages. What a game of the freaking ages this is. How much does this cost? Five. Cannot do it. Tiny bones. What did we lose? The search engine token. Oh, oops. Still fine. Yes, first this. Thank you. That was kind of oops, but still okay. Still A-OK. -okay. All we have to do is to tap down the Urza Silex. That is all we have to do. Jesus, what a game. <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> what is this game? It's a crazy game. An absolute crazy freaking game. Absolutely crazy. My turn. Create a copy that is this. Yes. Resolve. Getting rid of you here. So can we win? Can we freaking win? The only question that I have here. I mean, we are close to winning. But I kind of have to get rid of this now. How much does this cost to... Putting a stop here. Turning you into a Shadred. Ending the turn. Tapping down you. What a game of the ages, my friends. This game is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. They find a board wipe or whatever. The Flash George. Wow. That kind of came out of nowhere. All right. Well... Interesting. Is this the legendary? Yes. Interesting. The Thrawn Spider, though. Does still Steve keep flying? No, right? Do have enough? One, two, three, four, five, six. This costs two. And how much? Four. I don't have enough. So I'm doing this. Craft with artifact. Get the um, Thrawn Spider here. Submit. Okay.
Well, let's draw a million cards, shall we? All right. <laughs> All right. So, here's the Mind Skinner now. I'm not blocking with Shadow anyways. Now let's mill them some, shall we? Does this get... No. The fun part is that they won't lose life, but... They're just getting milled here. So our plan is finally working! I cannot believe this. And we're finally freaking doing it. One, two, three. I cannot believe it that we're finally frick. Good game. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Don't leave. Don't leave, my friend. Don't leave. Don't leave. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Please don't leave. <coughs> Please don't leave. Please. Please. Please don't leave. Why would you leave? After 20 minutes of absolute brain-busting game, we get the thing down and you leave? Oh my god, I had so much fun. But this was saddening. This was saddening. Why did they have to leave? The Bastion name. Opponents going first. We have a very, very nice curve here, so let's keep it. What are you? Yo, Tiago Cadet, thank you for the follow. What are you? Oh, you're this, okay. You're just this. Haywire might. As if they knew what I was playing. I mean, if they want to use the Haywire might on that, that's kind of fine with me. As if they knew. Alright. Now they cannot even use it. Let us get rid of it. Before we play the synthesizer, you know? I think we should. And we can just exile this still. Let us just hope they don't play another Haywire Might. Nope, they're just going for this. Alright. Well, draw your cards. Dream your dream, my friend. Dream your dream. Here's the synthesizer. I want this, but I don't think I need this right now. Passing the turn. Skyfisher Spider. For real here. For real. I mean, that is pretty good. A pretty good answer to our deck here. Buddy. 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 We play another one. Let us see if they do it again. Let us see if they have another Skyfisher Spider. Like, how are we up against the ultimate destroy enchantment and creature deck? Hey, why well, might? Oh, yeah, you're right, non creature. You know, some people say that sometimes I'm not the best at playing magic, and I totally agree. <laughs> I totally 100% I'll agree. Okay, three Mosswood Dread Knights. Not bad. Not bad at all. There is your land now. 
Hey, now, there's a land now. Hey, where am I? Soul Guide Lantern. Okay, alright. Wait, why? No blocks. You can have three damage. So... Bringing in another search engine. Activating this one. Attacking in. They cannot block us, we're kind of alright. So yeah. They can play two of these now. Which sucks, but it's not the end of the world. Ancient Cornucopia though. Interesting. Now say its name? What is going on here? What are you? Well, at least they're playing a pretty cool deck, not gonna lie. At least they're playing a pretty cool deck. They're attacking in, though. They kind of shouldn't, but they are. All right. Well, I mean, I'm getting rid of this then. Gain you for life. See if I care. I have to get rid of this brute spinner. And I will. I will freaking get rid of it straight up. Straight up. Because it's getting a little dangerous here for us. If I don't get rid of it. So what have we seen here? Deadly cover-up. Deadly cover-up is so fine with me. And we now just lean back and wait until we find more land. <laughs> Another say its name. Say its name, say its name. Oh no! Oh boo on you game! Boo on you! Absolutely boo on you! Oh my god! Come on! Wait, what? So they're hoping to find a land here, I guess. Or they have another land. Alright. Well, it is what it is. Nothing I can do about that, is there now? Yo, greetings to you as well! Are they doing it though? Are they getting the one that should not be named? They should, I mean, hey. Why shouldn't they, you know? So what is it, a 9-5 trample? Is it a 9-5 trample? 9-9 nine, nine trample. Yeah, okay. Alright. So my only question here is, where the freaking heck are my lands? <laughs> Have I thrown away a land? Have I scried away a land? No, right? They're just freaking inexistent here. Well, in that case, I can't do nothing but this. Which is already pretty good. That's in a turn. No attacks. Where is my lance? 199 with benefits wasn't enough? I mean, hey, you know? We're still okay here. And we're a mill deck, so... Kind of fine. Activated abilities, yeah, okay. Entering is not an activated ability. Entering is not an activated ability. Go ahead, draw your card. Go ahead and draw your card, my friend. 
we're like, you know, a little bit sad because our opponent has like double the lands we do. Okay. That is still kind of fine. <gasps> a land? What? Okay. All right. Crazy. <laughs> did somebody just knock? Oh, did somebody did knock. <gasps> Nuggies. Yes. It's Nuggies. <gasps> what is this sauce? Do you have Nuggies? Do you have Nuggies? Oh my god, I have Nuggies. Like a, like a small little baby. Thank you so much, babe. My lord, I have nuggies. Whenever a creature you control dies. I think we lose this because um, we had to draw 16 cards before we drew a land. So I kind of don't feel super good about this. Kind of don't feel super good about this. Look at this. They can also just return them all. Got a drink with those salty snacks? Thank you! I will just lock that room. I will drink now, but I will just... Lock that room. He shouldn't be able to activate it, right? Oh, come on. Well, they have to tap it. They have to tap it. But we're still very sad here. Now even the Sun Slayer. Well, we can get rid of that. But the spider is still annoying me. You know, Sunfall would be very nice. I have to think here. I have to think here. Can do this whenever, right? Yes. And just do this whenever. At least they don't get haste, right? Should have copied Bridge, you're right. But I mean, we start playing the game now. They started playing the game like 20 hours ago. <clears throat> I 
Look. We have five lands now. They're on ten lands, so... That is not really how you win magic games. Now we lose to the room. And now also we draw all the lands. So let's give him a good game. Wipe the board. And lose to this. It wouldn't have changed a thing. Wait. If you cast it, who said I should copy it? Hey, Lebowski, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here.